Hey, everybody out there in disc golf land. I'm your host, Marty P. with Bang Rang Discs, and welcome to another edition of Shoot to Thrill. For our third episode, we're headed to Brock Park in Houston, Texas for the 2024 DGPT Texas State Disc Golf Championships. If you like this content, please like and subscribe for more. The tournament and park have seen some changes over the past few years. Initially sponsored by Latitude 64 and directed by Stephen Sori, it was included in the PDGA National Tour in 2021. The tournament became part of the DGPT Tours Elite Series in 2022. In 2023, the park underwent a facelift thanks to the hard work of the Houston Parks and Rec Department. Additionally, Chris Vandegrift picked up the reins as tournament director, working with Innova to sponsor an A-tier event. 2024 saw the tournament return to the DGPT Tours Elite Series with its highest pro purse to date, thanks to Chris Vandegrift and sponsor Lone Star Discs. With an average pro purse payout of a little over 54 k and a total pro purse of about 217 k since 2021, the Texas State Disc Golf Championships is bound to grow into an even more successful tournament. That's it for the tournament growth report. Let's check out day one. Day one saw Dispinia's Nicholas Antela, Innova's Calvin Heimberg, and Lone Star's Nico LaCastro and Carter Aarons face off on the feature card. Antela's most notable stats when compared to others on the feature card are his ability to park the basket 16% of the time, a scramble rate of 74%, and a 41.6 birdie percentage. Perennial podium finisher Calvin Heimberg's most notable skills are hitting the fairway 79.2% of the time, while reaching C1 and C2 in regulation at 41.77 and 67.7% respectively. Heimberg also sinks baskets from C1X and C2 80% and 55.4% of the time. LeCastro and Aarons both show their skills in sinking C1X putts 77% and 74% of the time. Now on to day one results. Round one saw heavy competition with Heimberg, Ford, and Burr only one stroke behind Barella. Again, Burr had a solid performance going nine under for the round with two four baggers on five and 14 and a round rating 22 points above his average. Mason Ford played bogey free golf on day one, picking up strokes on hole two with a couple of turkeys starting on holes five and 13 and finishing the round 38 points above his rating. Heimberg was able to maintain his position on the card despite a slow start. But Calvin turned it around quickly, getting a turkey on the three, a five-bagger starting on seven, and another turkey on 15, leaving Heimberg to finish 17 points above his rating. Barella took the top spot at the end of the day by getting strokes on 18, stringing together a six-bagger starting on 13, and finishing the day 39 points above his rating. Now on to the lead card for day two. With only one point separating first from fourth place, Barella's C1 in regulation at 44.9%, Heimberg's C2 in regulation at 67.7%, Burr's parking at 15.8%, and Mason Ford's C1X putting at 87.1%, the competition for day two promised to be challenging. By the end of day two, Mason Ford's bogey-free performance managed to keep him on the lead card going into the final day, finishing five points above his rating. Gennaber picked up a four-bagger starting on four and a turkey starting on 16 to stay afloat while finishing six points above his average. Ezra Adderhold's 11-under performance not only pushed Calvin Heiberg off the lead card for the final day, but also placed him on the lead card for the first time this season. Ezra had a four-bagger starting on seven and a five-bagger starting on 12, finishing the day with a round rating 40 points above his average. Anthony Barilla's 1106 rated round not only proved to be the best of the tournament, but was also the first 1100 plus round of the DGPT season. Putting together a near perfect game, Barilla played a bogey free round that started with a five bagger on one, another eight bagger starting on seven, and a turkey starting on 16, finishing with a round rating 70 points above his average. With a six stroke lead, the question for the final day was could anyone catch Anthony Barilla? The final lead card had Discraft's Anthony Barella and Ezra Adderhold, Discmania's Gannon Burr, and Mince Mason Ford in a horse race to the finish. Ezra Adderhold's 74% fairway hits and 62.7% C2 in regulation were second only to Barella's 77% hits and 65.6% C2 rating. With a scramble rate of 74.19% and parking the basket 15.8% of the time, with C2 putting at 48.8%, Gannon Burr would still have to have a miracle to beat Barella to the podium. 
Mason Ford's technical mastery of bogey-free golf is evident in his 11.66 bogey rate, 8.27% OB rate, and 87.14% C1X putting rate. But is it enough to stay on the podium? Let's find out. By the end of the tournament, Matthew Warren pushed past Mason Ford for fourth place by playing bogey-free golf and stringing together turkeys starting on three and eight, finishing the round 20 points above his average. Ezra had a hole dropped a spot but maintained a podium finish by stringing together a nine-bagger starting on hole three, finishing with a round rating 37 points above his average. Gannon Burr almost got his miracle chasing Don Barella by putting in a stellar performance that ended up being the second 1,100-plus rated round for the season. Burr put pressure on Barella the entire round, starting with a turkey on one, a 10-bagger starting on nine, to finish one stroke behind Barella with a round rating 56 points better than his average. Anthony Barella finished in first place with a solid performance by getting turkeys on seven and 15 with a round rating 13 points above his average. The win promoted Barella to the top of the DGPT leaderboard. That's it for this episode. Next up is the 2024 Jonesboro Open, sponsored by Play It Again Sports and presented by Westside Discs. Until then, I'm Marty P. with Bangarang Discs. Have a great round.